We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do. There is... There's... When we left last week, we had... Our last episode, we had just started putting in a whole bunch of tubes, right? Just plat because we, we we somehow are just making plastic willy nilly, just basically for free um, from a machine that typically would overheat itself. But somehow, <laughs> but somehow, uh, it's just gonna run on its own um, and not overheat. I don't know how we found this mysterious mix of carbon dioxide that just doesn't doesn't insulate somehow. Uh, but it's happening, so... Great! Uh, you probably want to check where heat's coming from in certain areas here. Like, probably should clean some of this up, but this is pretty hot. It's 167 degrees. I don't know if I necessarily want to get all that. Mm. Um... Let me see. So yeah, I'm gonna let that thing work until we run out of, uh, of petroleum. And then after we're done with that, then we'll, you know, figure something else out. Uh, I can't imagine that these things are going to really last that long anyways. Like, there's a ton of reservoirs here, but they also are, get, like, really, really hot, and I don't know if... I mean, this area is going to continue to get hotter because of, you know, this area over here is leaking. You know what? Maybe what I should do, before we do anything, uh, maybe what I should do is go and replace all of this with this. And then, uh, you know, maybe we'll come back later and get whatever whatever is picked up, or whatever is sitting over here, but I'm probably not going to fuck with it right now, simply because, um... Uh, all that shit is way too hot. <laughs> and I don't say I don't say need any of it. Let me see what we like a sand, sandstone, sandstone. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Obsidian, granite. I mean, not not really that much. Um, let's do a nine on these so those two get done. And what we'll do is we will uh, just create like an insulating wall here because this is going to get warmer in here for sure. Even across the floor, we should probably go ahead and do that now, uh, just to keep this area about as neutral as we possibly can. Let's go all the way across the floor, it's fine. Uh, and we'll leave the left open because that's going to be essentially like our escape for heat. So as we generate heat in this room, as you can see, the uh, uh, the polymer press, that doesn't have any power, by the way. So we'll have to figure that out in just a second. Um, now it's back on, so we'll definitely have to uh, figure that out. Uh, oh, I tweeted at you and just said thank you for the uh, uh, for hooking me up the soundtrack. Uh, but yeah, so this, the left-hand side here, the granite and, and the igneous rock, this is all going to be our heat sink. Uh, but everything to the right and on the ground is not going to be our heat sink uh, because that's not just, yeah, this is not going to work. Uh, way too hot over there and all that is going to do is transfer over to the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is going to get too high and the polymer press is going to end up breaking down. We don't want that. Um, we want it to run until there's no petroleum left and then we'll get up here. We'll try to crank some more petroleum through here until these things start to break. Uh, and then we will uh, continue to make more plastic and... Uh, and basically make more tubes and all kinds of shit. And what we should probably do is, you know, since we're getting into tubes, uh, is run tubes to, to everything, basically. Just run tubes everywhere we possibly can. Uh, let's start with actually just deconstructing this. Uh, they'll probably get around to that eventually. Uh, we have no power to a lot of things. Oh, yeah, that's right. I built these three natural gas generators, and I was thinking about this. I don't think this is going to be um, a viable long-term solution. And I'll explain to you why. Uh, because having an entire grid reliant on two, uh, two uh, natural gas geysers, which are going off constantly, um, eventually we're gonna, there's gonna be a desync or something between the, um, uh, between them or something. I'm not sure, but actually, uh, I am sure. The time on this, the next dormancy, so here, here we go. The next dormancy for, let me get my camera out of the way here, uh, for this natural gas geyser right here is in 2.6 cycles, okay? So another two and a half days and this thing's gonna go offline. Uh, this one down here goes down in 54.4 cycles. Uh, so, and so this one, uh, it has a, uh, it's going to be down, so this is actually going to be uh, inactive for the entire duration that this one is active, I think. Or this one is, let's see, let's see, let's see uh, 54 cycles. Yeah, there's going to be a desync here. Yep, we're going to be running on just one natural gas geyser for like, uh, like 70 cycles. Which is a very long time to run off of just one gas, uh, one na natural gas geyser. So unless we just happen to randomly come across another natural gas geyser, which I don't think is going to happen, uh, I think it's now probably a, a now is probably the time to go ahead and start looking at other options such as hydrogen, something that we have like a ton of, 
and actually getting more and more by the second. You can see right over here, these things are, uh, uh, this veg is cranking out tons and tons of hydrogen. Even back in here, there's a ton of hydrogen in here as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill a couple things. We're gonna, I, I don't think that this... This, so I know that this plan of, of trying to delete heat by running it through this system over here, uh, running the, the hydrogen through the, the pipes that are being cooled by the uh, wheeze warts, uh, this is just not something that's going to work against all of this stuff. I also don't think that, I, I think as long as we keep hydrogen in here, we'll be able to keep the heat manageable. Like I don't think it's going to get that hot uh, because the ambient temperature drops so quickly whenever the machines turn off. And so I think that it ends up kind of balancing itself out. And if it doesn't, then we'll find out in like, you know, a thousand cycle or something. Uh, I forgot that you guys also want to be here too. What is all this? Food is decayed, uh, critter starvation, the pip. Oh my God, these pips. Uh, building lacks resources, micro mush. Oh my God, do they have to give me all of these things all at once? New printers, oh, new, new stuff's available? Oh yeah, I'll take rust, sure. Uh, that gets rid of that. Long commutes, that's gonna, that's gonna change. Gas pump, fish release. Uh oh, fish release. Oh, that's just this machine here. Yeah, well, we actually go ahead and uh, just deconstruct that for now that we don't have that, that warning. Um, and then, uh, oh, this thing. Yeah, well, that actually probably get rid of that too. Just so we don't have to worry about that warning. Eventually gonna have to pump water out of here and pump it into here. Uh, probably gonna put a bypass in as well. There's so many things, so many things. Poor Pip. I know, I, I'm just like, ah, eh, whatever, it's fucking Pip. <laughs> but the thing is, every time we put lumber in this bitch, this thing's probably full of lumber. It's full of lumber. Why aren't they eating it? Why? These dumb pips? Just eat it. Just eat the damn thing. Critter feeder. Maybe this does have to have it? Let me see. There's no pip. Yeah, pips aren't in this thing. Pup, pup, pup. No. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. So, you know, if a pip can't figure out how to open up the thing that he opens up all the time by himself anyways, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I can't help him. Uh, let's see. Edible. Yo, this is a mistake. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, copy settings. There we go. That'll get some of this food. We have a bunch of food just laying on the ground. That's why I went over here and found this. Um, let's also, let's see, algae being delivered to this. Uh, we're going to run out of algae probably before, I don't know if we're actually getting a lot of value out of having these Pakus. Um, but we get a lot of value out of having a whole bunch of, uh, uh, of algae. So we'll, we'll let this ride for a little bit and then figure it out. They eat it off the plants? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, so then what I need to put down is a seed then. So let's go ahead and up. Let's see, yank this out. Uproot. And then, will the, will the arbor tree run off of just a, like just a brick of, I mean, I know that they'll probably, there might, um, let's see, seed, hold on a second, let me put arbor acorns in there. Oh, there's arbor acorns in there. Oh, there's no room actually. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. Let me see, uh, 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 let's see, meal wood. Let's get this thing out. And then get this one out too, just to see if it's something that we, that maybe we can, you know, encourage him to go ahead and uh, uh, plant himself. There should be enough room right in there. Maybe we'll give him a little bit more room. I'll uproot this one as well. I'll uproot. Oh, okay. And uproot. Um, how many people do we have doing food stuffs? Let's take a look. Oh, let's wait a second while, they, while it does this thing. Pita in space. <sighs> Let me see. What was I doing? Uh, skills. No, uh, yeah, uh, priorities. Let me see. Farming. Nobody does farming except for two people. Let's go ahead and change that. Uh, we'll just give a couple people the ability to, to, to farm as needed, but not necessarily as a priority. And all this is going to do is just, you know, they'll just run around in there and pick things up and, and you know, maybe, maybe seed things or something, whatever. Uh, but it is low priority for everybody, but at the very least, we can keep food moving. Because I noticed that we we're floating around at like 100 or so, getting down to like 60 at times. So uh, that's planetarium. It's for research purposes, but we don't have uh, we don't have something that you need for that. I don't remember what it is, <laughs> but yeah, we don't have something for that. So, oh my God, there's so many things, so many things. Uh, the plastic pipe's great. Uh, I did notice this though, watching the VOD back. This is a this is a problem. They can't uh, they can't get around here. So what they've been doing is going all the way over here, and then going in the sh chute to go all the way up here to go right there. Oh, here's another one. He's gonna go all the way over here and get in the chute, and then he's gonna go all the way up to right there. So you see? So we're gonna make this like an emergency. Like, please build this one ladder. <laughs> please. Well, we will redo all these pipes later, but for right now, please just redo those fucking things. Um, how are we doing over here? 
Good, good. Lots of natural gas right now, but that's going to change very quickly. Uh, we need to... Um, and we have hydrogen that's being pumped in at pretty steady rates. We have hydrogen that just kind of exists, ambient hydrogen all over the place. I mean, like this this setup over here with this machine, uh, as long as this machine continues to get water, which it is. But that's going to change too because we have a lot of dirty water and I have a feeling that it's going to lock up. We might end up putting a liquid pump in here very, very, very soon. I don't know when, but very soon. We might actually, what we do, what we should do is actually get, uh, we should break this up. So we should split this somewhere. Uh, somewhere where that, where that crap water isn't, so like maybe right here or something like that. Uh, split it and then run a pipe that goes up and in and feeds the electrolyzer directly. That way the electrolyzer can, um, will always run. Otherwise, we'll forget that it's not, you know what, yeah, I, we will forget that it's not, uh, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll forget that it doesn't have water and then we'll end up. Uh, fucking ourselves later on, be like, where's all the oxygen at? <laughs> and then, and then the jokes will ensue about maybe it's not included and blah blah blah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. And then what we'll do is, oh, that means we'll probably have to put in a. Oh, you know what? If I just put this in, then some will come here, but so, and some will go over there. I wonder if that's gonna be too detrimental to this entire feed here. Uh, let's go ahead and raise this up to about two thousand. Keep that flow going, and then let's go ahead and start taking apart these generators. I, I, I feel bad. We built all this stuff, all these generators and everything, and then and now it's just like, let's just get rid of them. Let's just get rid of them. Zombie Vanguard! 49 months! Thank you so much, Mr. Vanguard. I appreciate it. 49 months. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna kill all this, basically. Let me see. There's seven. Not all of it, actually. Let's just replace... Oh, we have to get rid of all this crap at the bottom, too. Is there any pipes in there? Not really. As long as we get this thing shut off quickly. Let me go ahead and deconstruct all of these. Make them nines. Nine deconstruct. Nine. Nine. And we'll see. And then I'm gonna rip out the floor. We'll put the hydrogen generators in here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll raise it up one notch. And then put the hydrogen. That way there's always gonna be a pillow of hydrogen in here somewhere. Um, I think that this feed is probably a bit... Unnecessary? Is it unnecessary or is it just in the wrong place? It's going through... I mean, it's gonna go through... It's gonna get cooled. I mean, you don't have to necessarily cool things in. Yeah. Huh. There's a lot of changes we gotta make. This gas system here, we have to do something with this natural gas. Uh, maybe what we could do is... Um, can we empty the pipe? Like, does it empty the pipe completely if we do this? If I click on this, uh, let me see, where is it at? There's a thing here for empty pipe. Empty, extract pipe, oh, it's insert. Okay, cool. And we'll extract pipe contents. Mark for emptying. Oh, whoops, let's go ahead and, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go through there anyways. Why should we want to go ahead and deconstruct that anyways? They sure deleted that pretty fucking fast. Uh, I guess we should probably also go ahead and get rid of the wires. So the wires... Yeah, because the wires in the wrong spot. We're going to raise this thing up uh, just like one tile. So those ones are in the wrong spot. Uh, this liquid could stay, but these are going to go for sure. You called your rocket the BFF report. And Mark... Mark, what's the NR mean? You need a plumber for pipe empty. Oh, you do? For reals? Is that why it's red? Probably. Mark for M skill uh, required operation. Let me see. Oh, I don't know what the alarm was. Uh, I have a lot of guys here with lots of, uh, lots of room to breathe in terms of morale versus uh, their stuff. The number. Oh! <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't know why they just clicked. Um, let me see. Where is... Where is, like, pipe fitting? <laughs> Carrying electric engineer, oh plumbing right there. So improve strength and plumbing. Okay, cool. Does anybody have that? Just like with a heart. Hey, look at that boots. The cook. You can also do that. Fantastic. So now uh, you don't think he needs a hat. Oh, I do have one. Oh, well, guess what? Boots could do it too. <laughs> um, we okay, get rid of this. So that's gonna be emptied. We'll go ahead and ooh, this is gonna make a mess. Oh no, if I start here. We'll get rid of these. All the way to this. 
and then we'll also get rid of this and we'll get rid of this tile here there we go uh power keeps cutting out over here we don't yeah we're gonna get the hydrogen uh uh the hydrogen generators in here and then oh you know what we could do am i the plumber i don't know no one's coming here and doing this stuff but probably because they have other stuff to do oh like for example it looks like they're running from point to point here for this is that what they're doing is that what you're doing oh no you're grabbing oh okay they're doing this I guess I just I just came in and just assigned way too many things for them to do. <laughs> My expectations are a little high, I guess. This needs to happen sooner though, because we need to have this power going. And you know what we'll do? We'll we'll branch these two so that way. Ooh, no, we'll blow the circuit if we do that. Mm, let's put a temporary a temporary connection from I think from here to here. That way we can continue supplying power. Uh, oh no, we won't. Oh, actually, yeah, if we do this, then there you go. So now we'll be able to supply power just until we get the generators built. And let's make that a relatively important thing to do. Someone did empty one piece of pipe. There's a bottle there. Oh yeah, they got to it. Cool, good. I don't have a place for them to, to dispense that or anything yet, but we'll eventually get there. Yeah, so I want to get this, this pipe system cleaned up. <laughs> and also, I think I feel like we're losing we're losing too much uh, here with this setup as well. So if we want to cool this hydrogen, we're gonna need to, uh, I guess, use a better door or insulate this door or something, or maybe replace it with insulation or something. What is the? There's uh, there's a fair amount of hydrogen in there right now, and an okay amount outside. I don't want to assign too many things, but just just remember, we're gonna come back and we're going to um, we're gonna re-insulate this this building here a nine holic <laughs> it's not it's a cold room but it can be colder the only reason why it's not is because too much energy is escaping out of the uh out of these tiles that i did not build and i don't think i can i can't get rid of them too which kind of sucks but uh that's why i built this around here uh is because i can't get around this so what i'll probably do is actually uh insulate i kill this door boom boom insulation there maybe another insulation piece of insulation there and we'll leave the granite here for the time being just to keep or maybe we'll put like one two across this just to... Can they reach that? No, they can't. Uh, unreachable build. Okay. Well, that'll be just fixed. We can fix that in a second. Oh, wow. I could build ladders over top of this thing. Must be built... Oh, never mind. Occupied space. Lol. Okay. And I think they can... Yeah, get up on the ladder and then get up on that. There you go. Now it's reach... Oh, it will be reachable. And this as well. Just to insulate that corner. And then we'll uh, insulate from here to here. Then maybe can I, yeah, I can't they can't build on top of that. They can't delete that either. I don't think so. We'll put on nine. If we come back and it's gone, then great. Did you see the sticky notes in the mail yet? What? <laughs> sticky notes in the mail? Oh shit, is he actually gonna take it apart? Oh <gasps> what the flip fuck? What the hell? I swear to god, they they wouldn't touch it before. <sighs> what the They would not touch that before, man. Well, that's beautiful news. Let's let's uh, let's do this. Let's do all of this. And yeah, now we're talking. I'll leave this here. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, what do you just take apart there? Tile. Can you construct a tile, please? Like that. Like you, like you did there. Like you did there. Pretty much. Let me see. Auto. Okay, good. We'll put one insulated tile <laughs> here. God damn it. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm about to make them, force them to come over here and do this. There it is. Oops. Ah, thing of beauty. Now it's going to start escaping pretty fast, so let's go ahead and uh, force them to do this one very, very quickly. Just a lock in the gases. There we go. Seen a satisfactory update. Also, uh, soon on Steam. I uh, I did not see the update. Yeah, I forgot that it was on because it released on Epic Game Store. I just forgot that it even existed. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's uh, uh I, I did. I totally forgot that it even existed. But it's coming to Steam, huh? Finally. I'm gonna put a door right here and then a ladder up. 
And then what we'll do is we'll do, we'll make this double insulation here. Oops, that's, that's not necessary. Uh, uh, okay, eight's fine. But these pipes, this is necessary. <laughs> Let me see, all this pipe necessary though? No, actually, this one's not. But the rest, oh, it's already done. Okay. Weird. This door should not be a priority of nine or whatever. It's fine, it's fine. Been avoiding it, it's epic, but there are no issues now. Awesome. More pipe. Lay more pipe. What if I should pack this room full of as much hydrogen as I could possibly get my hands on? Which actually is not that much because it's not getting fed that much. Why is it not getting fed that much? Uh, it's coming through here, it's coming through here, so this must not be getting water or something. It is not getting enough water. Why is it not getting enough water? The water's coming down here. It's going to split a million ways. There's water going down to the oil refinery. There's water going all the way around here. Getting cool. It's taking a long time to go all the way around this thing. And then it comes all the way back. And it gets fed into here. Still not a lot. This is just further... Oh, you know what? You know why? Uh, they must have finished the pipe over here. And we're, we're starting to see the effects of... Uh, of uh... Oh, no. They did not finish this pipe over here. I know it's a five. I know it's a five. I'm a little surprised. Let's make it a six. Immediately starts working on it. They must have a lot of five things to do then. Picking up dirt. Where are you taking that dirt, dog? Taking that dirt to what? To what? To what? Where are you going? Where are you going? Taking suit off. Taking that dirt. Up, 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 up. Over, 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 over. Blam. Oh my god, all that way for some dirt. You know what? <laughs> I think it's time to put some dirt, uh, well it's time to put some canisters that we can put some dirt in. Let's do that. Let's just put a storage bin somewhere nearby, somewhere that's not that far away. <sighs> that's a, yeah, it's a crazy commute. Okay, that's, that's unnecessary. Uh, we'll put it right next to the vent, so that way, uh, if we put anything in there that's warm, like warm dirt, then they could just, you know. Uh, I think there's already stuff here that they could use. Oh, you know what? There's already stuff here that they could use. There you go, that's, uh... Already answered my question here. And then, oh, damn it, <laughs> the fucking default is set so high. There we go. Bam. We'll tell them to put dirt in there. And there's, we have so much dirt, we could probably set it to whatever the, you know, the, uh, uh, whatever we want, and then we can, like a high, uh, priority. That water looks fish. Hey! <laughs> Pinch of pepper seed! Oxygen's still good. Are they working on this, or are they, like, kind of working on this? They're kind of working on it. Where are you going? Where are you going there, guy? Gonna pick up some polluted dirt. It's a lot of water. We have a ton of water down here. We definitely are not short of water. These two steam vent geysers are, are doing a fantastic di uh, uh, job of, uh, uh, of just dumping continuous water. Does that actually tell you what the, uh, average output of liquid is? Uh, let's see. Steam... I don't know what the conversion rate is of steam to to water, but it says steam 4,119 uh, grams per second at 230 degrees in size. Let's see, uh, the active period is 56 cycles. Every okay, blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. They went on here. That door's done, which is great. We can start. Getting some pipe to come down here. This thing is still running, just somehow. Uh, this is not done yet, actually. Starvation. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go make these nines too, because this is something that has to get done. And that'll be done shortly. Let's take a look. I don't know if it's gonna be doing it. It's gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna do a great job of, of keeping some of this heat from transferring over. But we'll know after some time, right? If we see that there is uh, a, a distinct difference between here and here in terms of temperature. Right now, it's only 13 degrees, but, you know, who knows? Um, yeah, we'll see. By the way, what up? Everyone just showed up. Boss is mad. Probably be out around 19 March since that's when it came to Epic about one year ago. Oh, good. Yeah, that, it, it did look, it satisfactory did look like an interesting game, for sure. It was, um... First person, you know, uh, you know, that kind of like almost like Oxygen Included or uh, any other like factory building game. We had like managed processes and everything. I thought it looked great. And how funny though, it's it's funny when games, you know, last year got released on, on Epic. I feel like we heard nothing of it. Like we heard basically nothing. Um, I don't know if it was a lucrative 
a plan for them to go the epic route if nobody was talking about their game. Like Factorio, yeah, exactly. That's, that's the game I was trying to think about, but I can't fucking remember the name. <laughs> it would just slip my mind. Uh, are they able to get- okay, good. So that's gonna be insulated here very shortly. This could all go. This is basically done, so we can just go ahead and uh, cut this out. Can they reach that? Oh yeah, they can reach that, for sure. Oh. All. All. So all they don't cut the bottom ones, so we can come back and cut the bottom ones. Uh, so there is a copper... A uh, copper volcano over here, and I was thinking maybe we could find a way to boil something. Um, like Oni, did I, I was that the first thing I said? Maybe I didn't. Damn, I uh, the what I want to do is uh, figure out and basically encase it in uh, insulated and then start to um boil some dudes, tubes, use like metal tiles. And it's like slowly heat and see if we can not like do a heat transfer where we move things from the gold volcano or the copper volcano uh, up through us like a, ch like, a, like a chain of, uh, uh, of metal tiles and then have like a, a room where we just, you know, cook something. I don't know what that could be, right? I have no idea what that could be. It could be a passive, uh, 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 well, a passive, but a petroleum boiler, but... I wouldn't necessarily know how to, I guess we could build a whole system to like extract everything else, but I feel like that'd be so hot. Uh, and also I have a system already get petroleum and I'm not really using a lot of petroleum right now. I mean, I am because of the plastic things running nonstop, but that's going to run for the next 20 cycles by itself. And then we're going to have so much plastic, we're not going to know what to do with it. <laughs> already we have five tons of plastic. So a super grill. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but Factory is not an epic. Satisfactory is not an epic. <laughs> I have a super barbecue. How funny, I didn't even start on this. Oh, because I can't reach that because of this. And I can't reach that because, let me see, buildings. There. Now they can reach it. So good, that'll get them uh, getting that thing unloaded. This is still not done yet, but they're working on it. As long as we still have granite. Who's starving? Boots, you're not re Boots, you're the fucking cook. Where's he at? He's, he's taking a shit. Every time. Every time! I'm done- I'm done checking on him whenever they say that they're- That they're starving. I'm just done checking on him. Every single time they're taking a shit. <laughs> it's like they're just like, shitting out all the calories. And they're just like, oh my god, I ran out of calories. I shit it all out. Uh, let's- let's see. Oh, dirt. That's right. Dirt. What is that? Soil, I guess? Dirt. There we go. We'll make that like a seven or something. Or a six, actually. We'll just slowly fill it up. Gotta shit before you eat. I know. I guess so. I guess so. Our food supply is looking okay. Um, you know, the grill is disabled on automation grid, so we're not getting any, uh, you know, we're not really exceeding 100,000. I actually wonder if we should, like food is not necessarily going to waste. Like we don't have food that's like, that's actually just going to waste. And actually, if I look at this here, uh, the food is at 97%, 78%, 65%, 45%. Uh, but there's only a thousand grams. For, so they are taking it from the oldest to the newest. If I make another fridge at like half capacity, then I feel like that would give us, and look, link it up to the uh, to the automation network, that would give us a perfect amount of food uh, where they eat it before it goes stale completely. Well, it's actually, it is stale now, actually, so maybe we just leave it alone. Um, yeah, we'll leave it alone. Be nice to boost, put some tiles between the grill and the musher. <laughs> Okay, fine. There. <laughs> Oops. There we go. There. Are you happy? <laughs> Boots, are you watching? Almost done. Almost done with my my water splitter here. Which means we're gonna have to. We're just one step closer to putting in a pump, an actual pump, to get water to fill these pipes. Because look, look at how thin. Yeah, this is this is a this is a problem. Uh, these pipes should be basically just full of water and just constantly flowing in giant circles all over the base they should not be <laughs> they should not be like yeah like empty like this like we're we're, we're we're we are really pushing it uh by doing it this way so it's like the water pressure in my apartments <laughs> yeah <laughs> god man my mom has like really good water pressure. It's insane how good the water pressure is at my mom's house. 
Like I go in there, I when I go visit and we take a shower, it's like you turn it on, it's like it's, it's gonna like, blast a hole in your face. Like it's so strange. It'll actually like it'll actually like pop an eyeball, I swear to god. Um but yeah, then here it's just like it's garbage. We go and take a shower, and we almost we almost have to like run against the water as it comes down to create more impact to get the to get the to get the soap off. You know, it's just not it doesn't really it doesn't really cut as but as a uh, not a pressure. Let me let me go and clip these wires here. This here We're, we are gonna do the pump thing. I'll run around the shower to get wet. Exactly. Let me see. We're gonna snip it. We'll snip it right here, and then. Good, so that's going up there. That's going to provide a nice steady stream. Not, It's not perfect, but it'll back this whole line up and it'll give us a buffer. And that's what we want. We want a buffer. This whole line's going to get backed up. It'll be perfect. Uh, this is not. This is definitely now not going to be enough. <laughs> so we do have to put a pump in here. So gonna let, we'll let it run. Um, now, if you notice, I'm not going at like dev speed right now. And part of it is because I almost am worried about going full dev speed right this second because there's so many things I notice in the VOD that we have to change and we have to, you know, fix and all this stuff. And I fear for what will happen if we, like, do 10x speed and just let it, you know, just let it fly through the cycles. So we're going to try to do things in a manner that makes a little bit of sense. Just a little bit. Uh, I think we could probably pump this into here and since we're at the beginning of the pipe, we'll have giant globules here and it'll actually stop the... Um, the dirty water from getting picked up, but if it does get picked up, it'll just be a fluke or maybe through this or something. We'll see. Never go full dev speed. <laughs> but it's, but it's, man, it's, it's that danger, man. It's living on the edge, dude. Come on. Dev speed. So dangerous. Adrenaline pumping. Let's go and hook this up to here. And they get started on right away. Great. So I, I guess we're getting mostly caught up on our priorities, except for the taking things apart thing. <laughs> that seems to be a problem with these guys. Uh, we do have to do that, though, because like I said, we're, we're, we're going to run into a uh, here very shortly. Probably this one actually is going to go down in uh, next dormancy. Oh, this one's down. Okay, so this one's dormant for... Yeah, so here it is. So this one's dormant for 47. You see right there? 47.2 cycles. It's dormant. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's dormant for, right? This one goes dormant in 47.2 cycles. It's almost, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect how they're exchanging. It actually is perfect. They are serious. I'm gonna, so, okay. So yes, this means I am running on one natural gas geyser for at least, at least another, what? Like 80 cycles or so? How many cycles are they down for? 40, 50, at least almost a hundred cycles. So yeah, hydrogen. <laughs> hydrogen is happening right now. Uh, after a hundred cycles, I'll always be at dev speed. Nah. <laughs> is this thing going? Here, this is what I want to see right here. So anytime there's a water water globule in there, right? I want it to be a fat water globule, not like this tiny little bitch ass water globule. Speaking of water globules, I don't know what that means. Sam, Sam, we interrupt this train of thought to bring you this message from your sponsor. Technically true. Thank you so much, Sam. What was I talking about? <laughs> How are the uh, how are the fish doing? What do I do with these fucking fish? Are we are they automatically picking up the food, or do I have to tell them to come here and kill a bunch? I don't know how it works. Can you what do you what do you do with paku fish? I know you can make fish sticks, but is there anything else you could do with them? And does it automatically happen? Do I have to I, I manually tell them to go over there and slaughter them? To let me see, oxyphern seed. Oh, sure, I'll take another one of those. I should take those and scatter them all over the place. We actually freed up a whole bunch over here. Why didn't you guys do this one? because of priorities of five. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not gonna judge. Do you limit the flow? I don't. Well, not right now. Not right here, I don't. Uh, but there's a couple areas. Uh, oh, right, right here, I do limit the flow, actually. Yeah, I do. 5,000. So this one, uh, probably go and open this up. Uh, I think I only had 5,000 because I was having it throttle because... What? I don't remember why. I think I was mixing it with something else. I needed to give it room, so... Let me see. Is that a nine? Okay, good. So that thing's probably uh, changing, right? Now ish. It's at three thousand. I'm guessing that's because that's the max coming through right now. Yeah, it is. Cool. So this should help. Well, actually, you know what? It's not really. Well, let's, let's go ahead and dev speed this for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like fish sticks? Do you like to put fish sticks in your mouth? I mean, yes. But I like that. Oh, you know what? We're dumping it back in. Yeah, that's another problem too, it looks like. 
<laughs> we were taking water, we were dumping it back in. I guess this is a previous- Oh, we were- we, we, we were relieving pressure this way. That's right, we had a pressure issue. Uh, and so we decided to relieve pressure by just having to cycle back in on itself. But, not anymore. Let's see, so no liquid output. We can go ahead and break these guys as well. And that. No anything down there. Oh good, we'll get those as well. Cool. And then... I guess we'll go ahead and take care of automation. Because automation doesn't belong there. I wonder if I can build stuff in front of this thing. Either way, we need to get uh, some hydrogen things going. So let's see. No, not coal. <laughs> no. Hey, it looks, yeah, perfect. So it all sit right there. Um, and then this will sit right. Can I sit in front of that? Kind of can. And there, and then this will sit right here. So they sit perfectly in their respective little slots. Slots. And then what we'll do is we'll put some, some tile here, which you can't do here because... Oh, because of the background buildings. Yes, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. They gotta build these things and they can't. <laughs> it's not gonna work, guys. <laughs> and then... This is just flushing to here, which is called hydrogen, which is great. But, I don't feel like this is the best utilization of this here. This is also empty, by the way. This would be higher priority. There we go. Dump it all in there. Perfect. That's what I want to see. That's not a lot. Oh, it's because this was full. That's why right. this was the... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I'm sick and this game hurts my brain. It hurts my brain, too. But just, just stick with it. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Sorry, your brain hurts. All right, so we have more water going through? Technically, yes. Yeah, we have more water going through. As long as we keep this, this is important. As long as we keep this backed up right here, then we're mostly good. Um, yeah, keeping this backed up so that way it has plenty of max gas pressure. What? Pipe blocked. What? Because oxygen is going, oh my god. Uh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Is this blocked all the way to... Oh, oh god, I gotta redo those, by the way. Um, it's blocked all the way around. How funny. Let's... Oh wow, the whole base is mostly... I mean, mostly backed up. Yeah. If I connect here to here, then I think these will reverse course and go back up and we'll start shooting gas out of here. Oh, we can't because there's no... Well, let's just reconnect and see what happens. We're gonna have to throttle this gas, by the way, because it's definitely... Uh, yeah, good. It did work. Um, we are... We keep on like you as you can see we keep on like connecting and disconnecting these things and there's got to be there's a better solution for this And this is not the answer, right? Yeah Because because watch they're gonna eat through this oxygen super fast like this oxygen is gonna get done and yeah We have a thousand bricks of oxygen back here But it's still not enough. We should probably put some reservoirs that just hold uh, cold oxygen and just let it just chill somewhere uh, And then everything puts it damn last week Mike. Why did you do this today? I know I know God, what's the temperature of this gas, by the way? Uh, 48 degrees, and that's pretty chill. I think we could probably take that, we could, maybe out here in space, we could just build a bunch of tiles, and then a bunch of reservoirs, and just have a bunch of, uh, uh, let's see, what is this made out of? Ooh, 400, ooh, man, it's pricey. I can make it out of junk, though. Aluminum ore, I don't have a lot of junk. Gonna start counting every time you say, by the way. <laughs> Have I said it? Do I say it a lot? I get it from Declan. <laughs> By the way, and then, his big phrase is, and then. And then, and then, and then. I just want to chime in and be like, no, and then. Yeah, let's go ahead and put in... We'll put in a couple. Not too many. Not, not enough to break the bank. Basically. Oh, that's not gonna work anyways. Uh, because they need space. They need, uh, tiles. And then, what is that, like, three tiles? So... And then another three times. Oh, they'll cut that when they build the things. Gas with voir. Ba blam, ba blam. No, 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 no. I wish I could cancel things in that fucking overlay. Son of a bitch. There you go. How's our oxygen go? It, you know, it's weird. The music is playing on uh, through a. Uh, through the stream. Oh, oops, okay, that was weird. Uh, through the, uh, um, clay stream. But these are, a lot of these are sounds that are, are music that's typically played, um, 
during specific key moments, right? So hearing some of the songs play, I actually think I might turn it off just because the music is, is it's a key part of the game. Oh my God, Victor, I was serious. I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, we'll turn on in-game music. That way it's all contextual. There you go. Um, I was seriously thinking that was it last night or yesterday or something? I was like, just please put in a control Z. Just give, just control Z. Let us, let us just make a mistake. Like let's say when you save <laughs> and all that shit goes all over the place. Uh, and let us just decide. Yeah, let's go ahead and just control Z. Let's deconstruct that. Let's deconstruct this. There's also a pillow of, of, uh, um, of oxygen down here. Sorry. I'm trying to think. Maybe I should replace this with, with a high pressure vent. I think I will actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a high pressure vent right here. And then this is going to just basically push all of the oxygen out. The oxygen will settle down here. This will open up into space and then space will, you know, get rid of it. So let's go. Oops, let's, uh, that was fast. Let's go ahead and put a plastic thing here. We have lots of plastic. And then we'll let this room slowly get just packed. Let's look like it's being pressed out right now, actually. Photoshop not included. I know, you need my control Z, my control shift Z, all that stuff. My clone tool, everything. There you go. High pressure gas. Perfect. Uh oh. The stall. And then I'm going to finish building this. Can they reach that ladder? I don't think so. And we're going to redo some of this stuff anyways, but... I wonder if I do this. <laughs> and then I can have them go up into here. With minimal issue. Let's see. So that's going to be just a G. Let's we'll G that out there. And then we're going to go put a small door. Uh, I'll put a half mechanized lock though, it's like super fast, All right? No half mechanizer lock. Boom. Now we'll connect that to this guy. There. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if they can hop, hop up over here. Because right now they're hopping up on this ledge in order to get up here to, to like, to put that door there, for example. Uh, but the question is, yeah, can they get up there? through this little step ladder system once this is built. Oh, you dummy, woofy. Can you get out? Oh, good, you can. Okay. Oh, cool. It does work. Perfect. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not very elegant, <laughs> but it works. Can you move the old door and put a wall there? Perhaps. Let me see. D De disable. I could disable. Okay, so I can't. I can't just deconstruct it. This is fine though. I mean, I don't need two layers. I just need one layer. Um, but I do need to pack this room full of hydrogen, which I'm getting some of, but not a ton. Is this? This thing's working at. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. Slow things down. I just said that I wasn't gonna run this thing at full speed. Okay, so we're having, we're having power issues, so... Oh good, they fixed this, so let's go ahead and get this built, because, like I said, we're having power issues, so we gotta get this resolved. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be crazy. Let's go ahead and build... Straight across here with insulated, because the plan is... We're gonna do double wall insulation. All the way across. All the way across the bottom. And then we're gonna run this pipe through here, and that's gonna go all the way down to here. So that way, we don't have to worry about bypassing all these buildings and all this crazy stuff. Um, wrong element. Uh-oh. Oh, there's hydrogen in there, which means that this thing is too high. Which means there's plenty of plenty of natural gas down here. Shit. Something else to manage right now. Uh, oh, good. It's just a cheap-ass wire. Fantastic. We're going to bring this down here. We'll put it right... What is the connector on the left side? Yeah, it's on the left side. Okay, cool. Put it right here. And then we're going to put a ventilation, gas pump, put that here, made out of what? Make it out of gold, because it's pretty warm over there. Only 50 for a gas pump, what the hell? John's Orb, three years! Fun, fun, I hope you're doing well. I am doing well, I'm doing great, I'm feeling good, man. Last night was great, had a lot of fun. Um, and today, just feeling good, just feeling good. 